Look at the Trailblazers focused as they walked into the locker room. Welcome, sports fans. Thank you for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll watch the Washington Wizards as they go up against the Portland Trailblazers here at their home, Moda Center. Joined by Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Let's take a look at the numbers for Shaden Sharp. And by looking at his true shooting percentage over the last five games, you can see how much he's paying attention to his shot selection, and it's showing. Now Washington starting five. Kuzma the four down low with Gafford next to him. Jones and Poole teaming up in the backcourt. And it's Avdia in at the three. And for the Trailblazers, Jeremy Grant out there with DeAndre Ayton. Then there's Sharp. Then there's Anthony Simons. And it's Brogdon in at the point guard position. Well, Grant, we're still very early into the season with many teams trying to find their footing and establish some chemistry here. Yeah, B.A., that's what the early season really is all about. I mean, players getting used to one another, as well as coaching staffs, too, just trying to figure out which lineups work best. And so off the tip, it's Washington. Simons against Poole. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Making a statement here early, going right to the rack. Oh, I love it. Well, this is his game. Be proactive offensively. Put the defense back on his heels. Now here's Grant. Up top, Aiden. Pass to Sharp. Clock at six. Back to Aiden. That one no good. Nice D from Gafford. Outside Jones. Going inside. Count it. Good. Making plays off the bounce. Something Jones does so well. And it's Simons with the ball for the Trailblazers. Four-point game. Grant with a screen on Poole. On the wing, Simons. Guarded by Poole. Simons against Poole. Simons passes to Grant. Buries it from three. Moving the ball with conviction. Simon's dropping a dime. Here's Jones. He came away with 14 points in his last game. This is hard to believe, Grant, but the Wizards haven't been to the conference finals since 1979. It is hard to believe. I mean, they've had some fantastic players over the years. But let me tell you, these fans in my hometown are hungry for a deep playoff run. Brockton against Jones. And there's the screen. Brogdon with the bucket. Longer than your average one, Brogdon, 6'5", can mix it up in the paint a little. Brogdon against Jones. Pass to Gafford. Now Kuzma. Gafford with a screen on Grant. Kuzma, the open look. And another basket for Washington with a smooth, effective jump shot. Kuzma does a tremendous job in helping his team space the floor. Brogdon with a screen on Poole. Simons. Gafford grabs the miss. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. Pass to Avdia. It's Poole on the wing. He's covered by Aiden. Gafford the screen. Here's Poole. It's rebounded by Grant. It's a shot you would think he would make, but he just doesn't make it all the time. Sharp passes to Simons. Outside Brogdon. Inside. Pass to Sharp. The three ball. The shot off that time. And it's Jones with the ball for the Wizards. Here's Poole. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's on Anthony Simons. Man, the defender really went after him. And Grant, this season, the Blazers adding a G League affiliate in North Portland. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the second to last team to do it. And the Suns next season will make it 30 for 30. Now there's a G League counterpart operating under each of the league's teams. First free throw is good. 
And when it comes to offbeat cities, look no further than Portland, Oregon. They do things a little different, but the Blazer players, including me, love playing here. They embrace how unique a city Portland is. Thibel, he's checked in for Portland. And the Wizards making a change here as well. Kispert's checked in. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. And stolen by Jones. Gafford with the ball. Now guarded by Aiden. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And now in December, here's what the Eastern Conference standings look like. You look at Washington. Not the start they were hoping for. They're in the bottom half of their conference. We've got 128 left in the first quarter. And there's a pick. Pass to Kamari. Now here's Henderson. Fires for three. Sinks the tray. And that ties it up. And just slippery with the ball in his hands. Henderson will dissect you off the dribble. Poole, a screen on Brogdon. Here's Koulibaly. The kick out to Poole. Outside Gallinari, five on the clock, hits the trifecta. That's a beautiful play call. Gallinari's dangerous off the catch because it allows him to get his shot in rhythm. Brown, a screen on Poole. Henderson, the pass to Brown. He makes it from the left block. Excellent movement on the play. The pass on time and on point. Poole outside. Oh, he tries a three. And again, Washington with a triple. And we've got 28 seconds left in the first quarter here. Henderson finds Brogdon. This one for three. Henderson misses. Here's Koulibaly. Still without a bucket. Gafford passes to Poole. And the Wizards with another three. What a performance for Jordan Poole. He's been the story for the Wizards. He put together 10 points in the quarter. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Wizards. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that hot. Yeah, also, you got to appreciate how unselfish they've been. I mean, the ball movement has been impressive, and the assist numbers are off the chart. All right, this is how the floor looks for the Wizards starting in the second. Kispert is out there with Kyle Kuzma. And then it's Landry Shamit. Then it's Mike Muscala. And it's Koulibaly in at the two. To the middle. Here's Thibault. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Yeah, you see the vision from Henderson. Just a terrific facilitator. And in most other draft classes, Scoot Henderson could have been a top pick. Yeah, he has the talent and skill you want in a number one overall pick. Circumstance of the class dropped him down, but he has everything you look for in a franchise centerpiece. It's Kuzma with the miss. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. There's Simons with a three. 
Nope, another miss. 0 for 2 to start the game. The Wizards with a lead. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Brian, the Wizards are building. Coach Wes Unsell Jr. said the biggest triumph isn't found in win-loss record. It's knowing that we're growing in the right direction, finding joy and purpose in what we do. He said you can feel the collective spirit. You can see our connectivity, which means we're on the right track. That's something we can be proud of. All right, Allie, thanks. Now here's Simons. Last game with 30. Pass to Murray. Back to Thibel. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Thibel's got his second basket on the night. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. On the wing, Kuzma. The jump hook. Bearing his second of three attempts. Solid at fighting through contact. I like how Kuzma accepts these challenges and converts. Pass to Murray. Fires the three. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. And here's Muscala. Kuzma outside. Six to shoot. Muscala the screen. And again, Washington with a triple. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Henderson scanning the floor. Here's Thibault. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. All right, Smitty, as a basketball fan, who are your favorite players to watch? Well, it's a long list, B.A. I love Steph Curry and Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, and that crew. LeBron James, of course. And some of the younger guys, Anthony Edwards, and obviously the Joker, Nikola Jokic, and also Giannis. And the list goes on and on. Now a timeout called by Washington. So Washington going with an almost entire new group here. And the 2K leaderboard now gives us a look at the shooting percentage leaders from this past month. In the third spot, Daniel Gafford. One of the hottest players in the league. He's been really sharp from the field recently. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter here. Pass to Kispert. And the ball out of play. The Trailblazers will have it. And a look now at the Washington Wizards upcoming schedule. On Monday, they'll be playing against Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers. And then on Wednesday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the New Orleans Pelicans. And for their matchup with Phoenix, no question they'll be amped for that one, eager to prove themselves against a tough opponent. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Henderson's checked in. Outside Brogdon. Henderson against Jones. Grant outside over Avdia. That's good from Grant on the assist by Henderson. Henderson's got assist number five here tonight. And so it's Jones who brings up the ball for the Wizards. They come into this one following a loss to Brooklyn. 
Yeah, they found some decent looks, but the shots just weren't falling. <laughs> Sometimes it goes like that. They never really got into a rhythm despite trying a few different things. Sometimes it's just not your night. Now here's Henderson. He's coming off a 10-point game against Dallas. Brogdon finds Henderson. Brogdon with a screen on Jones. Henderson drives in. And Gafford with the block. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Gafford. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. A minute four left in the first half. Two on the clock. Here's Grant. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. I'll tell you what. They are on fire this quarter. Taking total command of this game. Here's Obdia. He's covered by Grant. Jones against Henderson. It's Poole on the wing. Gafford the screen. Can they get it? Portland grabs the miss. Their first look at this year's Washington squad. Not exactly the biggest game on the season schedule, but both teams are capable of flashing serious potential. You know what? Every win counts in this league, and both of these teams want every victory they can get. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. Brockton against Poole. Launches it. No good on the buzzer beater. And great D from Brogdon. He's got good size and can guard multiple positions. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Trailblazers out in front. They're up by two. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. Hello, folks. Is this the halftime show? Yes, it is. And kicking it off, let's quickly look at the Western Conference standings. And you look at the league. Shaq, you've said today's players are puddin' pops, which, by the way, are delicious. Any other dessert-related put-downs? Great question, Ernie. Cupcakes is always good. Mmm. Soft serve. Two on the nose, Kenny. Work on it. I'll come back to you. And now let's focus on the Trailblazers. At halftime now, it's been a tight one. Well, you appreciate their efficiency, finding their shots, then making them count. I will say, though, the defense they were facing allowed them to do a lot of that. It's usually that combination when a team is shooting this well. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. One of the stories here, Jordan Poole. Man, is he getting it done today. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Anthony Simons out there with Malcolm Brogdon. Then it's DeAndre Ayton, then it's Shaden Sharp, and it's Grant in at the four slot. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, the incredible athleticism of Scoot Henderson has drawn comparison to players like Westbrook, Wall, and Rose. Scoot said, quote, no, I don't want to try to follow up anybody. I want to have my own career where people compare to me. But those are some great players, some great guards and leaders. But I just want to make my own path. B.A.? Yeah, and that's where you have to be mentally. Thanks, Allie. You can tell Simons 
has this shot dialed in. He's a very accurate range shooter. Jones against Brogdon. The kick out to Poole. Pass to Kuzma. Over Aiton. Kuzma. That's good. Kuzma's got nine points. This is a go-to shot for Kuzma. He does not flinch from mid-range. Brogdon, the pass to Graham. Three-pointer sharp. Jones grabs the board. There was a mix-up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. Back to Poole. Pass to Gafford. Poole with the ball. Poole work in the interior. Third quarter of basketball. We're about a minute and a half in. Jones against Brogdon. On the wing, Simons. Aiden, a screen on Poole. Just five on the clock. Tries again. And it's finished off by Aiden as he lays it in. Aiden's got his first points in this one. And he's got such great hands. Aiden corrals rebounds and doesn't lose his touch on follow ups. Here's Poole. Poole floating in for the slam. He's electric. Oh, my. That's why we have those breakaway rims. Dude, he risked pulling the whole thing down to the floor right there. Aiden, a screen on Poole. Simons. Good as the jump shot falls. Simons has got his second basket. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now here's Gafford. No points so far. Back to Kuzma for the tie. Rebounded by Brogdon. And so it's Brogdon who brings up the ball for Portland. Three-point lead. Aiden, a screen on Poole. And here's Simons outside. And Aiden gets it to go. Anthony Simons looks real comfortable running the pick and roll as the young combo guard continues to grow as a passer. Pass to Kuzma. Now Poole. He's covered by Simons. Here's Avdia. Poole, right side. Now here's Jones. Gafford with a screen on Brogdon. And another basket for Washington. Tyus Jones doing a great job of breaking down the defense in the pick and roll, taking what they gave him. Aiden, a screen on Jones. Pass to Sharp. And here's Aiden. Over Gafford. Washington with a rebound. Gafford's got a rebound number five here tonight. Poole, the pass to Jones. Now Gafford. Here's Kuzma. It's Poole on the wing. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. Brogdon finds Aiden. Pass to Simons. Now here's Grant. Rebounded by Kuzma. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And here's Jones. Poole outside. Jones with a screen on Simons. Poole, the pass to Gafford. And it's Portland with a rebound. Huge challenge at the rim. The defender could not have played that any better. There's Simons with a three. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. And we've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. Trailblazers out in front, leading by three. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return.
And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. Fourth quarter on the court for the Wizards. We've got Kyle Kuzma. He's out there with Corey Kispert. Mike Muscala out there with Landry Shamit. And it's Koulibaly in at the two. Kuzma for three. And counted. Now five for seven. When Kuzma is this focused, he shoots it so well, even outside his comfort zone. Henderson outside. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Kuzma. And a fast break now for the Wizards. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. as the free throw drops in for him. And he makes both free throws. And it's Simons with the ball for the Trailblazers. Here's the three. Rebounded by Kuzma. Washington's gone five of ten from beyond the three-point line in this game. Pass to Shaman. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Unloads from 13. And that one's good. Koulibaly. And the Wizards lead by four. Here's my question. Where is the defensive communication? It's been that way all night. Each team just trying to outscore the other. Here's Kamari. On the wing, Simons. Shot clock at six. Connects on the 17-footer. The mid-range J from Simons. Old school. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. I was able to listen in on what Wes Unsell Jr. had to say to his team. He pleaded with his guys to keep their emotions in check, saying, you're battling right now. Continue to play smart. Don't try to be a hero out there. Play for one another. Guys, let's see what happens. And Allie, thanks. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. 
Pass to Kuzma. Back to Jones. Here's the teardrop. Count the basket. When you're a six-footer like Tyus Jones, that floater is a big shot to have. Portland trailing here. Brogdon feeling it out a bit to the paint. Here's Aiton. Basket is good on the assist from Brogdon. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. The Wizards have gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. Jones finds Poole. Putting on the Jets, Jordan Poole doesn't go that time. Aiton with the defensive effort. The Trailblazers have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Firing with confidence, Simons continues to flourish when given the opportunity. And that one drops. So now they lead by one. Tight ball game. Who do you want at the charity strike? This guy. Gafford with a screen on Simons. Poole with a ball. Now guarded by Aiton. Oh, what an effort by Poole. And neither side able to take control of this game. Yeah, at this rate, it's going to come down to a photo finish. Pass to Aiton. Here's Simons, guarded by Poole. Grant outside. Five to shoot. Aiden with a screen. And it's Grant with a three. And the Trailblazers lead by two. You see the trust this team has in Grant's ability to step up in crucial times. Pass to Kuzma. Shoots over Grant, and Kuzma the bucket on the assist by Poole. They need one, so Kuzma steps up. They're lucky to have a player like Kuz. Tyler outside. Grant outside. Back to Simons. Takes a three. For big, Aiden is pretty solid from the line. He could have this in the bag. First one drops, and that gives him a lead. Yeah, what I appreciate about Aiden is that he wants to keep getting better. You have to be excited about his future. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a two-point ball game. Cool under pressure. Terrific job nailing those two free throws there. Poole against Simons. Let's it fly. And it's Portland with a rebound. Hard to turn down a look that good. Still, long twos are losing favor, and misses like that are the reason why. Now here's Simons. Outside for Brogdon. And here's Grant from the arc. Jones grabs the board. Pass to Kuzma. Here's Poole. From outside, money from deep. There is absolutely no fear in his eyes. He loves the moment. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. Time called here. The Trailblazers decide to talk it over. They're down by one. 
30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Timeout called. Portland. They're behind by one. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. So it's Portland now. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. There's Simons with a three. He drops it from range. You expect he's going to find a way to pull through in the clutch. Now a timeout called by Washington. They're down by two. 23 seconds left in the fourth. Your thoughts, guys? More than enough time to get a bucket. But I'm curious to see, will they go for a two to tie or a three to win it all?
the Wizards with possession here. Trailing by two. Poole, the pass to Gafford. Out of bounds. It'll be Portland's ball. And so they foul intentionally. Yeah, just trying to keep this game alive. Not a bad foul right there. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. Yeah, from the strike, Brogdon is exceptionally consistent. The defense fouled the wrong player, if you ask me. And so both free throws good, and it's a four-point ball game. And that's a wrap. Those free throws being the nail in the coffin. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. They're behind by four. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, what do you think? Searching for a fast bucket, then a way to stretch things out. And on a defensive end, they'll have to foul whomever gets the ball. No time left to be picky. We've got 13 seconds left in the final quarter. Kuzma for three. Rebound by the Trailblazers. And they're going to prolong the game with an intentional foul. Free throw is good, and that puts him up five. What impresses you about Shaden Sharp is everything he already does well, like grab boards and hit shots. He's got a really solid foundation to his game. And here's Jones. So the Trail Blazers win it. Boy, a hard-fought game. They did a great job of holding on to the lead at the end. You get the coffee, because that's the way to close. You're going to face some obstacles in the game, but they overcame every one. And that about wraps it up. For Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us. Last but not least, here is your New Balance player of the game, Anthony Simons.